I was on the street house, I learned the cake, but I never saw the lady on the shade rig. I was only there, said, but I told her tell, and I listened to the child to the safety well. Did you ever see them? Because I'm on my lama, I'm a tissue, I'm a lama, I'm a duck. Half a lama twice, I'm a lama, I'm a lama, I'm a lama, and a car, I'm a lama, I'm a duck. Is it how it's so now? Is it also old? Is it my lemon juice? Don't I make a cold? Now it's on a skinny thin, I run out of luck. Time for me to be tired now and become a duck. Okay, I think I'm not ready to say my intro. <laughs> Hello everyone, my tattoo here, and today I thought I'd make a video about my fears. Now, of course, someone did a video of some of my fears, but there are some fears I never actually mentioned. So, I thought I'd get started. <laughs> Starting with number one, I have a fear of the darkness. For some reason, I grew up with that fear. It's perfectly normal, I think. I had that fear ever since I was very little. Let's just say that. That's the reason why I have that little snowman thing. I can't really see it. <laughs> the f the f I was looking at the flashing red light thing that is like, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's, that's, that's my phone. But I have that little, I have this little snowman thing here that I can turn on, where it's like, always use every single time but y'all yeah, usually see my videos of why it's like sitting right up here and when that's put it away i use one that is right beside my bed i know it's not plugged in because this is it takes up a lot of whatever this and that i'm not even an adult yet so how am i supposed to know this stuff <laughs> number two spiders well spiders there's a 100% reason why I hated spiders. I just don't like spiders at all. This is the way they crawl in so many of their little eyes and their webs. And I had an experience with it once. One time, I was nine years old. Oh my goodness. It's like I'm now like thinking about what happened to Dan. I have the book. <laughs> what happened to Dan Howell when he had an encounter with a spider. My reaction was different from his. I was just going to lay down and get, and I, well, I was laying down at that time because I was so tired after what I've done all day. I thought I saw something move, and I was just like, uh, what is that? Because if it was my pet little scorpion, then I was okay, but it wasn't. <laughs> yes, I had a pet scorpion. I also had a pet lobster. I'll get to those stories sometime in the future. If I forget, remind me, please. <laughs> and um I got up looked into the mirror I saw a huge ass spider that was this huge <laughs> I screamed like what the fuck out of it get this damn thing off of me I actually screamed that and oh my goodness <laughs> it was hilarious there was a long hallway took me like Less than two seconds to run down that hallway. I was that fast. I was doing this so hard that I killed it out of nowhere. Ow. It burns now. But I killed it out of nowhere. I thought it was still alive afterwards. But I ran like less than two seconds down that hallway to my mom and jumped onto the couch where she was on. I just I jumped onto it, hugging her, <laughs> and then she said, "Jeez, why? What's wrong?" And I said, "Pass, pass, 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 pass." <laughs> and Mom said, "Terrell, go check it out." <laughs> and that's my brother's name. I have a brother named Terrell. She told him to go and check it out, and that's what I, that's what he went to go and do. I followed him afterwards, and um, when he got in there, turns out the spider was dead. I killed it. <laughs> I had a loud scream. It actually shook the house. You can hear the vibration. You can like hear the vibration of the house shaking all because of what I've done. <laughs> it was all shaking out of nowhere. <laughs> People, and my dad thought my dad was still asleep. He thought it was an earthquake when he woke up, but it ended afterwards when I went to go and soon to sleep. He 
thought there was an earthquake and I hated spiders ever since then too. <laughs> Three. Oh my goodness. I think I overcame that a long time ago, but I used to have a fear of leaves. Ridiculous, right? I know. Come on. Yeah, y'all can laugh. I, I want y'all to laugh. It's hilarious. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had a fear of leaves when I was little. I think I overcame it at the age of 12. For some reason, everything ends at 12 and everything begins at 12. 12 was when I had my first actual existential crisis, in which 12 was the age that I overcame my fear of leaves. Weird, right? Okay, I have a fear of the supernatural. For real. This is uh, up to the state. I hate what could happen. It's like, I do believe in ghosts. So I've actually encountered one once. You know, like that old background y'all seen in one of my very old videos when this, it was just like a wall and that little bedpost thing that goes underneath the bed, whatever it was. I don't even know. I don't even care enough at the moment. One, one of those nights, after I made a few videos, I pre-recording some, I went to sleep, but I woke up afterwards to see that the covers were no longer on me. Both doors were closed, so I don't know how the hell that could have happened. Turns out there were so many ghosts in that room. The most active part of the house. Ta-da. But... Supernatural? Oh my goodness. It's like, I don't even know why I have it, but <laughs> moving on, but I do have a fear though. <clears throat> um, the other one is, well, dolls. Of course it's obvious. Well, if not, let me tell you a little story. My, my aunt, who lives in Missouri, had a collection of dolls. And that was the room I used to sleep in over the summer. I slept in that room with so many dolls on the shelf. I couldn't sleep. I thought eventually they will jump out and attack me. So every night I stay up looking at the TV. And then walking around the house when everyone else is asleep. I even get up to get something out of the kitchen because I care for food. Food keeps me living. So I, I just prefer food the entire time. And then I decided to make my aunt happy after she asked me if I can ha if I could actually have them. I didn't want to hurt her feelings, so I decided to take them. But once it was out of that box, it might on top of my dresser in my very old, very, very old room. This was when I was between ages 11 and 12. Everything ends with the age 12 here. I couldn't sleep. At all. But that wasn't the actual first time I actually had that fear. I used to have like a diva doll in my room, sitting in the corner, and like half awake, half asleep. Just like laying sideways. I was just stuck, like looking right at that doll. It got up and moved towards me. And that was like, like the struggling to just get up. And I couldn't get up. This was when I was five years old. Normal, right? Huh. Don't know why, but it's true. And um, let's just say that I screamed. My, my brother Ken walked. My brother Ken ran into my room from way upstairs that's how big the house was and that's how loud my screaming was he came down the stairs and ran straight into my room including my german shepherd he was down in the basement he he protects me all the time including the cat who for some reason hated me but started to care for me for some reason and um we all came into my room my brother asked me what happened i said the the, the doll, the, the diva doll. I just kept on pointing right at it. He said, what about it? And I was like, it moved. It moved. I swear it moved. And then he said, are you serious in half like have a sleep thing again? And I was like, again? <laughs> Turns out, I had it a lot of times. And last of all, 
on this one nobody did not know about. I had a fear of Santa Claus. <laughs> How do I manage to deal with Christmas? I found out who the actual Santa was a long time ago. Turns out it was my dad. But after he left, it was my, it was my mom. So I was okay with that. But whenever I see like a creepy picture, you can't spell Santa without Satan. So that kind of gave me a heart attack afterwards. S A N T A N T A. Yeah. Let's just say that scarred me for life, and I don't like Santa up to this day. It gives me a heart attack. Even right after I watched the NFL play that one game that included Santa Claus as the Slender Man. <laughs> Terrifying, right? I actually screamed. <laughs> Nobody wasn't even here at that time, but I screamed. But those are my fears. If, I, if there was a fear I did not mention, I'm pretty sure it was, it was mentioned in this one video made by this one person for me. So I do appreciate what that did, that, what that one did for me. I really do. Because she actually emailed me and asked if she can do a video about me. Like 10 facts about me and 3 crazy bonus facts. And I gave her some. It was okay with me. It didn't really bother me all that much. So, um, those are my fears. So, I thought I ate at a little Christmassy. Some, there's something that included Christmas towards the end. So, why not? Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get back to reading this book. My book of my dreams that I bought. For myself, I used to have one a long time ago, but someone stole it afterwards. So, I'm going to get back to reading this, and I'm starting from 168 because that's how far I read yesterday after getting it. <laughs> so, um, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I'll see you all in the next video sometime next week. This is pre recorded. Bye. <laughs> also, the video, whatever you've seen at the beginning, that was me doing a warm up. Don't question it. I, I love this. I love the llama song up to this very day. I've known it way ever since 2012. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> All right. Good.